Say that you list down your biggest competitors and note down their biggest strengths, weaknesses and unfair advantages. And you have your own weaknesses, strengths and unfair advantages. And with all this information, you try to plan the perfect angle to push forward, where you utilise your strengths and unfair advantages and where your competitors may have their weaknesses. Is that a productive use of your time? Not really, if at all. There will always be only a few key actions that you need to take that will keep pushing you forward closer to your goals. And the case will never be that you have a dozen key actions that you need to take and need to find them through utilising your unfair advantages. In reality, there are no such things as unfair advantages. But here is the closest thing to it and how you can utilise that. And what that is, is you working harder, more efficiently, gaining knowledge, using your creativity and getting help from networking. Basically, the unfair advantage that you can gain over anybody else in the entire world is by working ruthlessly hard. And I don't believe in any other unfair advantages besides that, and here's why. Because if I were to believe in unfair advantages, I would be telling myself that this competitor or these competitors have these unfair advantages, they excel in them and they are absolutely unreachable. And I can't do better than them in that area because that's their unfair advantage, and so I need to put my efforts into my unfair advantage and try to overcome them through that area. And all that believing in these unfair advantages does is open the door for more negative comparison. Because this competitor has these unfair advantages and these unfair advantages are, are better than my ones and they have more whatever, stuff like that, that kind of mindset. And you could not control these unfair advantages. And so it just means that I'm stuck with this unfair advantage that doesn't benefit me that much well, I need to look at my competitors when they have such more better unfair advantages. However, if I believe that this man who I'm competing with is only doing better than me because of the amount of hard work that he puts in, that puts all of the responsibility in my hands. Because that subconsciously tells me that the only reason that he's doing better than me is because he's better than me and I haven't been working hard enough or being good enough. Which is so beneficial because it will mean that there is no nihilism. But the, of course the realisation of the lacklustre effort that I've been putting in may sting or may even hurt. But that will fade but may linger in very small amounts. But then I will come to understand that the only way to get rid of that pain and discomfort is by working ruthlessly hard. Doing the difficult work, working more and trying to outcompete any man that I am in competition with. Life is a zero sum game for men. There is no sharing, there is no fairness. There is no, you can have some of my results and success as long as you don't take everything away from me and completely crush me to the ground. The truly masculine men that you're competing with want to take everything from you. And after they do that, they will want more. And that's of course where the term cutthroat businessman comes from. Because the real strong successful man who owns a business not only wants the money from it, but also the status respect power and influence that comes with achieving all of that success. Which of course ties in to the importance of masculine friendships. Because your real male friends will push you to become the absolute best version of yourself. Especially when you don't feel like it and when you're acting like a pussy. Because they know that if you're not working at an incredibly high intensity, your competitors will be. And they will take everything from you with no remorse and will want even more after that. And everything that I have described made me think of the kind of direction my uncle has been pushing me down. Because he is kind of a nomad since he flies over where I live now and works for a bit with my dad and then after a few months he flies back over to Lithuania and takes care of his parents. And when he is working here and living with us we sometimes go out the back garden and play basketball. Because we have a basketball hoop in the back garden and it is zero effort to play. And we would play horse which is a game where you would make a specific shot and the other person needs to match it. And if they miss, they get a letter and the first person to spell out horse loses. So we would play horse and he would always be talking, either pushing me to make the shot or trying to put pressure on me to, and by telling me about what's at stake. I never understood why he kept talking and trying to compete so much and I honestly got a bit annoyed because all I wanted to do was enjoy a game of horse. But now I understand what he does and understand that what he's doing is one of the most important things that a masculine man could experience. He constantly pushed me to be the best version of myself in basketball, which is another zero-sum game. There are no draws in basketball, there is always a winner and a loser. And in terms of basketball, it would be incredibly stupid for me to rely on my unfair advantage in it. And relying on my young age as my unfair advantage isn't beneficial, doesn't make sense, and probably detriments me. 
and you agree with that. And in basketball, what I would need to rely on as my unfair advantage is working harder, being better, practicing more, and being more focused. So like in my basketball games against my uncle, be better and work harder. That puts you in the correct mind frame to conquer any endeavor and gives you ability to gain the power to conquer your competitors instead of relying on something that is completely outside of your control. And as real masculine ambitious men, we take on all of the responsibility that we can so we can make the world a better place, have achieved all of our goals and live as the absolute best version of ourselves. Click and watch this video right now. Put in enough time and attention because that will make anything into reality.